This video reviews the steps to create custom device monitors and roles in WhatsApp Gold and share them to other instances or with other users. WhatsApp Gold includes profiles for classifying and monitoring many common types of devices from various manufacturers. These profiles are known as roles and subroles. However, on occasion you may want to monitor a device that is new to the market or otherwise not built into WhatsApp Gold. For these scenarios, you have the ability to extend WhatsApp Gold and create a custom role or subrole with rules that support any device in your environment. In this video, we'll explain how to identify your network devices and resources. Then we'll create custom monitors and subroles to support those devices. We'll also show how to import and export these subroles to share them to a different instance of WhatsApp Gold. We'll begin by locating the SNMP Sys object ID for our device. This value is a sequence of integers assigned by the manufacturer that uniquely identifies the device. It represents the type of device and can also indicate its model number. WhatsApp Gold uses this SNMP Sys object ID to assign the appropriate role and subroles to your discovered devices, such as router, switch, and so on. The role and subroles then determine the monitoring that is automatically assigned to the device. By performing an internet search, we can find the Sys object ID of our device and the resources we want to monitor, in this example, CPU and memory usage. Our search also turned up a list of SNMP traps available on the device. We can review the list for any traps we want to receive. In this example, we want to know about all of these messages if they occur. We'll keep these lists of OIDs and traps handy as we'll need this information later to create our monitors. By searching for those object IDs, we may even be able to locate the entire MIB tree for the device and review it for any other possible items we want to monitor. After we have researched the object IDs and traps for the device, we are ready to create the new monitors. We'll open WhatsApp Gold and select the device in the My Network view, then navigate to the SNMP MIB Walker tool. We'll start walking at the Enterprise Object ID, which is set by the vendor. Any values below this level will begin populating. So we'll see the Enterprise values at the top, and then all the specific Object IDs below for the various device attributes and resources. We'll locate the row for CPU and then click Create Monitor. This will be a performance monitor. We'll add a name and description to identify the monitor and click Save. Then we'll repeat this process for the memory utilization monitor. Now we are ready to add passive monitors for the SNMP traps. To do this, we'll need to use the WhatsApp Gold Admin Console and open the Import Trap Definitions tool. In the dialog box, we'll sort by MIB module to locate the MIB for our device. Then we'll select the traps and click Import. When the process is complete, we can open the Monitors library and confirm that the monitors have been added. Here are our new passive monitors and the new performance monitors. After we have created new monitors to track the resources for a device, in order for these monitors to be applied to the device automatically, we need to configure a subrole. So we'll open the Roles and Subroles library, click New, and select New Subrole. We'll give it a name and description, and then open the Scan Rules tab. These rules tell WhatsApp Gold how to classify this device. One good method is to use the Sys object ID that we identified at the beginning of this video because we know this is set by the manufacturer. So we'll click Add and select SNMP Sys object ID starts with. Then we'll enter the enterprise portion of the object ID. You can use the scan rules and rule groups to set up more complex qualifications if you need them for your business processes. For this example, our single rule should be sufficient, so we'll move on to the Monitors tab. This is where we will choose the monitors that we want to be automatically added to a device that matches the scan rule. We'll select all of our traps and the two performance monitors. 
After we click Save, the new subrole is active on the system. Now when we perform a discovery scan, if a matching device is detected, WhatsApp Gold will add the subrole to the device and apply these monitors. Finally, let's review how to share the subrole definition. This feature is useful if you need to move WhatsApp Gold from one server to another, if you work within multiple instances of WhatsApp Gold, or if you'd simply like to share a new hardware definition with the WhatsApp Gold community. We'll click Export to export the subrole file definition. Then, on a second instance of WhatsApp Gold, we can open the Roles and Subroles library, click Import, and browse to the file. We'll see a list of the items that will be added to libraries in the second environment. For our example, this includes all the new monitors plus the new subrole. We'll click Import to finish the process and add the new items to the libraries. We also encourage users to visit the What's Up Gold community and share the roles and subroles that they create. You can do this by navigating to the Device Roles page of the Code Share area, making a new post, and attaching the file definition. In summary, you can use these tools to create subroles and monitors for any devices you may encounter in your environment and then share these roles to extend support of these devices with your fellow What's Up Gold users. Thank you for watching this video about how to create and share custom monitors and device roles in What's Up Gold.